Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another one in my series that I am doing for you moms and dads who are home with your kids. You have suddenly become the teacher because the schools are closed. This is a little advice from a homeschool mom. I want to encourage you that you're probably doing better than you think. You are responsible for creating an environment for learning in your home. Outside of any e-learning activities that your school has given you, you do not have to replicate school at home. So take a deep breath and remember that, okay? I'm wearing a very appropriate shirt today. First coffee, then homeschool, because that is the order in which things need to happen. Just a little background on me. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. I am a homeschool mom of two boys. They are eight and six, second grade and kindergarten. This is our third year of homeschooling, but I am also a homeschool grad. And most of our homeschool is pretty eclectic. We don't use any specific curriculum for everything. We do classical conversations, which covers a lot of our subjects, and then kind of individual little language arts, math kind of <laughs> here and there. But today's video is gonna be about geography. This is really important right now. I'm starting to suspect that this is not being taught appropriately in schools. People don't know where things are um, <laughs> on the map. And right now with this pandemic of, I don't wanna say the word, cause I don't wanna, I wanna stay monetized. I wanna stay legit here on YouTube. Uh, there are a lot of countries we're hearing about and we have hopefully, oh, I hope we still have the Olympics this year. If we don't, I'm gonna be really sad, you guys. The Olympics is like my favorite thing. <sighs> I mean, I want everyone to be healthy and well, but I also really want the Olympics to happen. So let's pray for that. <laughs> but the Olympics, you see people from countries from all over the world. And there are a lot of times countries that I'm like, wait, where is that? And with the changing political climate, there are countries whose names change, refugees, you know, all of this is sometimes hard to keep track of. And one thing that I love during the opening ceremonies is when all of the countries come in with their flag. And I used to know at some point when I was young, if, if any like Gen Xers, Gen Y, I don't even know what generation I am, born in 80, what, I don't even know what that makes me. I loved Where in the World is Carmen San Diego as a kid loved it. The computer game, the TV show, there was a time where I knew every single flag. I'm pointing to my world map over here. I knew every single flag for every single country. I still know a lot of them, but a lot of that has kind of floated away since then. But this is a way to learn it yourself and teach it to your kids. I have several resources here and you don't have to buy anything. If you have a printer, you can do this. Let's start with US geography. This is a box I got, I don't know where I got it, but I think Mike bought it, USA Geo Cards. And in here, there is a state card. It tells you the nickname, the population, and the total, total area. And there's New Hampshire, and then it shows where it fits in here. This is a great way to learn states and capitals. And I'm gonna do a video about different songs that you can use to memorize all sorts of things, <laughs> whether it's history, geography, whatever, that's gonna be another video. But you can get this box of cards and or print this all off online. Super easy to do. Each week or each day, spend some time on a state. Um, if you want to spend a week on like, I don't know, Washington, you can maybe make some seafood, whatever to kind of focus on that state. You can do the same thing with world geography. Pick a country that you want to learn about and get as much information off the internet again as you can and spend a week learning about that. Um, you can talk about their traditional dress, their music. You can get on Spotify and play traditional music. I'm sure there's lots of other you know music places you can find traditional music from that country. You can uh, watch a documentary about that. You can, if, if you can get to the stores, you can make some traditional, I don't know, Hungarian food and learn all about that country and spend some time on it. Um, really, really dig into it if you want. 
I also have these cards that I got, I don't know, stuff we just accumulated, but there are these cards that have flags. It's just a way to, to learn flags. Uh, as far as maps go, um, I have a globe with my ring light on it. So I'll just show you this really quick. I think this was from Costco, but uh, we didn't want to buy it online because we wanted to see it in person, but it's an amazing globe would highly recommend. Also, we have these from Classical Conversations that are placemat size. Uh, these are, it's like $12 for the pair. Honestly, I would just go, you know, if, if you're not in CC, just go and get a, a world map placemat, probably cheaper on Amazon. Uh, but this is a world map right here. Nothing is labeled. And then on this side, it's just Europe because we're doing Europe this cycle. Nothing is labeled. So that's good for practice. And then this other one has everything labeled. It doesn't have every single country because this is just our current cycle that we're doing. So we're not learning every country in the world this year, <laughs> but uh, this is our current one. And then Europe here is on the back and everything is labeled. And one thing I like about these is that they're laminated. So I use these wet erase markers. I prefer wet erase markers because dry erase markers don't have a fine enough tip on them and I'll have the kids like put a smiley face on France and of course they love using these wet erase markers these are like overhead pens remember overheads uh, <laughs> so it's like that and I'll have them put a heart or a smiley face or something on there you can print out a world map or a USA map um, on your printer and then put it in one of these things you can find these at the Dollar Tree as well I don't even know where we got this uh, but yeah, you could stick it in here and do the same thing. Sometimes I have them trace the country. Sometimes I have them put a heart on the country, uh, a marshmallow, whatever, <laughs> a red hot, an M&M. You get the idea. So this is, I mean, these are just a few ideas, but you guys, I'm not sure how much of this is being taught in schools and you want to try to incorporate as much as you can into like learning that is not necessarily, let's be honest, it's not on the standardized test, okay? You wanna put in some things that are gonna help them in life. Teach them to do the laundry. Teach them where France is on the map, okay? These are things that they need to know for life. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new here. And also be sure to check out the whole, I'm calling it schooling. <laughs> That's my play. That's my playlist I have right now. The name may change. I don't know, but go and check that out. I will link everything that I can below, and I hope this was helpful for you. Go out there and have some fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye.